Hello everyone and welcome back to another BMNG video. Last time we got through the first part of the career mode and now we're about to check out the garage features and more challenges. So it appears that the garage behaves as our hub. You can store the vehicles bought here, upgrade and tune them or sell them if that's what you desire. I believe this is also a way to flip cars, like buy a cheap one, you know, and make upgrades to it and sell it for profit, but we'll have to explore that later. Okay, so right here at the computer, it is the place where we can do all of the things mentioned. This is very nice, we have an extensive list of parts, but it seems we can only afford the spoiler for now, so let's go ahead and get it. Small lip it is. Okay, so far so good. We have completed the tutorial, which means we are now free to do whatever we want. And I'm very keen on upgrading this car, so we need more bitcoins to do this. The easiest way I know to make money is races, right? I think this basic race should be good enough for us to get some starting capital. I'm not sure if we'll be able to use this car or we have to use the pre-selected one from the race, but we shall see. As always, remember to look both ways when entering a main road. You never know what the AI might be doing, but that advice is also good for real life as well. Okay, so now it's good to go, so let's floor it. Trying not to drift too much here as I do not wish to damage this car. Not yet at least. We don't have the money to afford a repair right now. And I do apologize for not explaining what these bars in the left corner represent. This would be a visual aid for you, as well as for me, to understand how much pressure or power I'm using on the pedals. So from the left to right we have clutch, brake, acceleration or throttle, and then parking brake. For me the braking segment is especially good because sometimes I don't know how much pressure I put on the brakes and if I want to be sure I have a hundred percent, then I, I look at this and it helps a lot. All this talking and I forgot to change my camera to third person. Still a work in progress here, especially during high speeds. Like I mentioned in the last video, it is very strange not having this micro level of control. I mean, it's still there, don't get me wrong, it's just that I don't see the steering wheel, I guess, so it's just harder for me to understand if I move it like one centimeter to the left, does the car actually go enough to the left? It's just like a perspective thing, right? And we're almost here, so I'm just trying my best not to crash it in the third person view. Okay, so now we're finally here. Jesus, calm down, sir. Trying to check out the race. Okay, so let's just jump into it, because I think this guy is going to hit me with his car soon. <laughs> Alright, so very simple race. To get to the highest achievement, apparently we need to finish in under 105, and I think this should be doable. Unfortunately, it seems that we don't get to use our car, so we'll have to use the the one from. Uh, so we'll have to use the one from this race, but that's okay. The Covets are actually fast and quite reliable in corners, so hopefully we can do something with this. Sorry if I'm talking slower or not making much sense. I'm quite concentrated to get this lap time and to make use of the third person camera. Damage my gearbox there a bit but nothing too crazy. A uh, tight corner here. Oh and I can see how easy it would be to crash into this wall. I hope the AI does that. We have quite some distance between us and the AI. We're nearly there. I can see the finish line. There we go, just in under 105. Amazing. And we got 2250 for this, which is great. Okay, so it seems we have two challenges available here. And we can select the second one from this arrow the pipeline drive. Okay. This is a 140 time limit, so I'm assuming either this race is longer or is more difficult. The money seems to be not as great as the first race, but we shall see. 
for an SUV, this car really pulls ahead. I mean, look at how fast I go past all these cars. Oh, and tight corner here. Okay, followed by a left turn. And another tight right. Okay, a nice left, oh and a tight left again, and we got some distance which is really good. Oh god, nearly crashed there, I need to pace myself, seems I cannot shift higher than second gear for now. Maybe after this corner. And another one. Yes, into third. And now we're in fourth and there's literally no one behind us. What a lovely race and finished in 136 okay so first couple of races are done so let's see what else is there let's do the go home one this is a sub 150 type of race so it seems we're getting higher and higher on the difficulty scale hopefully the ai will behave like true race drivers and not bump into me too much we're off to not such a great start there's quite some distance between us and the first place and this car does not have enough force but it seems there's a highway up ahead so hopefully we'll be able to get to first place one past two to go we're slowly approaching top speed i can feel it and we have just enough to get by the second one And the tight right corner ahead. Whoops, took that mirror with me. <laughs> and we got some distance now. With two right corners here. Oh God. And this is a second gear type of race it seems. Just need to pay attention in these corners and not get too aggressive with the brakes. We don't have ABS on this car. Approaching the finish. One more corner to go. What a beautiful finish in just under 150. With 4,500 Bitcoin won on this race. Wow, that's so good. Well, that was it. There's no other races in this section. So let's check out the map and see what else is there. I must say, I kind of need a break from this. Uh, let's do some deliveries. Let's, uh, let's check this out. The pay is 6.5k so it should be good enough and doing car deliveries is a nice break from the stress of the races. To be honest guys, I never thought this game could become more than a crash simulator. I mean, this is what this was all about back when it was released in 2013. Look at this silly guy. Anyway, as I was saying... I remember I would log in and do silly stuff with various cars, testing their limits in terms of top speed. And there's a grip map this game has which, um, which existed back then and is basically endless. So you can test whatever car you like, you won't hit any walls, you know. 
so you can you can test the top speeds in a straight line and um, but the downside is that it's not looking like an actual road so it's literally a grid map uh, so you have lines you know like horizontal and vertical and it does have various uh, stress tests for vehicles like bumpy terrain to test the suspension and hills with various degrees of incline but yeah, that would be it. I would I would get into the grid map and just stress test the cars for hours at a time. The AI was pretty much non-existent and to see it now becoming this, I think the devs deserve a slow clap for their efforts. And I just crashed my car trying to be cool and do a drift. Well, what can I say? This is something you are most likely to see me do again. <laughs> it's part of the game. And we are here. Let's see. There seems to be a multiplier the more vehicles we deliver. I kind of like that. Alright, so the first delivery is in 2.2 kilometers with moderate traffic. And check this out, damage to the vehicle does not count. So technically as long as we get to the destination, we are golden. Oh, what car is this? It's like a rat rod never driven this before. I think it's been added recently. I'm not a huge fan of these drag cars and I've stalled the engine immediately. Yeah, clearly this is not my style. The clutch is so sensitive as well and the turning is horrible. Yeah, that, that's why I don't like these type of cars. They're, they're just not for me. We have to be careful because I can just feel this will go wrong quickly. God, the speed of this. Oh, oh. Yup. What did I just say, guys? The brakes on this thing are basically non-existent. So, we are now running on three wheels. And we cannot back out now. Because either we deliver this or we lose. Well, in any case, I'll take this as a challenge. We'll have to protect our last remaining front wheel... Because otherwise it's going to be impossible to make this thing turn. Yeah, I did not mean to do that, but it's already a challenge to make any like left or right adjustments. The power is still there, which is nice, so clearly the engine wasn't affected at all. I think it's in the back anyway. But with the brakes being quite bad and us losing a front wheel, I cannot power through this. Just need to take it slow for now. Uh, you don't know how much I wished I would, I would just floor it right now. It's a straight line. But it does go downhill, so we would have gotten a lot of air time. Um, hello, I'm braking. Yeah, see? The brake distance is just horrible. Like, whoever designs these cars must have, like, some sort of common sense when it comes down to braking. Like, this car has so much power and it can reach a top speed very quickly. You would think... They would put good enough brakes so you have some stopping power as well, right? And I'm not talking here about anything crazy, but even going down from my 80 to 30 is just very difficult. Thank God we have arrived. Okay, parking is gonna be tricky. Don't think we can do it in the first try. And of course, I'm correct again. And I'm not sure what's wrong with this car, because I swear to God, I, I stalled the engine again, but I'm, I'm doing everything as I would drive a normal car, but I guess it's user error, guys. It, it's, it's me. Come on, please move. 
Come on, one last minor adjustment and we are there. You can tell I'm done with this, right? Alright, finally. And that being said, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We're gonna carry on with some more deliveries in the next one. And who knows, by then maybe the cars will be, you know, slightly less challenging or maybe I'll become a better driver. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.